Hi Taurus, and welcome. This is Virtual Tarot, and I'm Ava. This is your July forecast. And if it's your first time here, uh, a double welcome. And what I do, I hope you can't hear that. I live above some wild musicians who are um, expressing that wildness in some rather cacophonous sounds at the moment. Hopefully my mic does not pick that up because I'm certainly picking it up. But in any event, um, I forecast, I divine, I'm a modern day oracle. I always think I'm a reincarnation of one of the Pythian priestesses of Delphi. And uh, when uh, in ancient times the art of divination was revered and socially acceptable. So it's my mission <laughs> to reestablish its nobility. I've created a four card spread. This is a very simple spread, utilizing only four cards. It's a spread that's easy to learn with, so I highly recommend that you watch this video and all my other videos. There's literally hundreds of them. Trudy and I used to do them together. You can watch those. And it's a great learning tool. But let's begin um, your reading. The first card is it represents the overall energy of the month. The second card will represent your challenge. And the third will be the unexpected and the fourth will be the outcome and uh, after the reading please stay tuned because I have an announcement about how you and I um, can commune spiritually I'm going to be offering spiritual counseling via the phone I'm going to provide a link below uh, so that you can uh, make uh, avail yourself of that if you wish. Um, if you don't understand what that is, uh, please uh, wait till the end of the reading and I'll explain. But I'd like to get right to the reading if that's all right. We shuffle the cards. We attempt to put a little bit of randomness in it, apparent randomness in it, and then we put the cards down, we separate them, and then we assemble them again, and now we're ready to go. Now, now, um, Taurus. I remember last month you had the sun reversed as the overall energy of the month. And it's interesting because that means that you're, you were on the brink of uh, abundance, success, joy, fulfillment, but that uh, those positive energies were, in effect, stymied, delayed, circumstantially, um, uh, there might have been some setbacks that, or obstacles that you still had to overcome. So I do remember that, and so it's interesting to see now what happens in July for you. So let's just see. <laughs> I'm very happy for you, Taurus, because you received 
one of the most beautiful cards. Where is this? Hello, there you are. Ace of Cups. Upright. A beautiful hand comes out of a cloud holding a golden chalice. That cup represents feelings, emotions. The ace is the beginning, the first, the, the start, the spring. This is the spring of your soul. We may be in summer, but your soul feels as if it's just awakened to spring. There's a deep appreciation for beauty within you this month. Maybe the beauty of nature, maybe the beauty of another. There's really, a, at, at the ace, there's a deep desire for relationship, for friendship. for love. You have feelings that are growing within you for another. This is the beginning of relationship. If it isn't begun yet, the urge for it has begun. Either way, This is about the world of your feelings. You're very sensitive this month, Taurus. Very, very sensitive. Easily hurt. Be careful. Not that you will be, I'm just saying. You're very sensitive. There's a delicacy about you this month. Even your intentions are delicate. There's definitely a readiness to love and bestow your friendship to to reach out now on an everyday level you could be very fertile <laughs> so beware of that it's fertility it can be birth it can be a baby it can be like that July is like a flower for you. And you find love. You find the honey in the flower this month. You crave. You have a sweet tooth for love this month, Taurus. <laughs> So don't just eat chocolate because often, you know, our craving for sweets and chocolate is really our craving for love. Oh yeah, it's true. When, when we love, Absolutely nothing seems impossible. 
There are no impossibilities when you feel deeply in love. And you don't have to have necessarily another to bestow that love on. You could be in love with life. It's enough that you feel it within yourself. So this is the tremendous energy of the month for you. Huh. In your position of challenge, Taurus, look what we have. We have the Six of Cups reversed. So what's your challenge in all this lovingness? <laughs> what's, what's your challenge? Your challenge is to break with the past. To stop living in the past. Because it could be detrimental to you experiencing the present. And in being able to create the dreams that will become your future. You have to break your, oh, it's very Torian. It's very Torian. They cling to the past. You cling to the past. So this is about not clinging to the past, letting it go, making peace with the past, with that which happened in the past, letting go of pains and old wounds and, and resentments, letting it go forgiving those who may have hurt you <laughs> don't let the unresolved issues of the past um keep you from progressing if you need to shore things up somehow without clinging to it then please do because something from the past is uh, is pulling you so either sever those tethers or resolve those issues and proceed forward. Maybe it's a, simply about having to leave old friends and making new ones, making new friends, new friendships. Maybe that's your challenge. It's hard for a Taurus really to, um, to, To embrace new friends they they prefer the familiarity the comfort of the old it's just their nature it's just your nature so literally it might just be that you it's now time to make new friends and so you have to be open to that and since the ace of cups is the energy of the month it you've got this energy this loving open uh, honeysuckle energy like the uh, hummingbird you know always uh, always living on sugar <laughs> they're gonna live on sugar 
and the sugar of love this month. Open yourself up to friendship and love. That's what it's saying. Let go of the past. Let go of what happened. Don't be tied by it. That's the advice spirit is giving you. Let's see what's in the position of the unexpected. And we have a major arcana card. Look here. We have the fool reversed. Okay. So a new dawn, a new life, a new paradigm is before you. You hesitate. You unexpectedly reflect. This is sort of the checklist that one makes before you go on a trip as a pure metaphor or it could t be taken literally. In other words, you check to make sure that you've got your passport, that you've packed everything, that everything is ready. So it's that pause before you take the leap into the unknown, before you take that journey into the unknown. It's reflecting also and accepting the inevitability of change. And <laughs> it comes to mind, it comes to mind that this is also something like the bride that runs away from <laughs> the uh, altar or the groom that runs away from the altar a change of heart sometimes it's that where you have second thoughts <laughs> and uh, you reconsider uh, do I want to do this should I do this? Would it be wise to do this? Um, so it could be that. I hope not. Well, if it's for the best, you know, um, it's up to you. But perhaps there's just some things that need to be shored up. Some things, again, that need to be resolved. Very much to like the other card previous, the Six of Cups reversed. Things that need attention before you make this grand leap into the unknown future, the adventure, the tremendous, um, exciting prospects of the future. Let us see how we end. We end with the Page of Swords. Look at that. The Page of Swords is your outcome. Well, even though it's not in the position of the unexpected, the card can often mean expect the unexpected <laughs> it's uh, anything can happen kind of situation anything can happen there's a certain oh unpredictability to things at the end of the month um, another interpretation just as valid is that you might be putting your skills to the test whatever those skills may be talents knowledge but you certainly have to stay on your feet 
that is, respond to the unpredictable. Be spontaneous so that you can be responsible. In other words, to that's the, the word responsible has responsive in it. So you're responsive to your environment, you're responsible. And another metaphor that comes to mind is being able to bend with the whatever the wind where from whichever way the wind is blowing. That's it. Bend with it. Don't fight. Don't insist on things being the way you want them to be. Sometimes also you might become too blunt, too careless in speech, and you're learning the consequences of your words and your actions on others. That's built in to the meaning of the card too. So all of those things might be aspects of what's going on. But you're extremely sensitive to your environment, aware of where you are, alert, conscious, so this month, it's interesting, you have two very disparate cards. In other words, you have the Ace of Cups, all feeling like a, an emotional, um, <laughs> again, like a pot of honey, so sweet and loving and joyful and then at the end we have this sort of mental acuity and mental alertness and um, anything can happen kind of event horizons around you sort of being spontaneous and 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 moving with the tide, bending with the wind. So you see, it's an extremely interesting month. And uh, so, <laughs> great. Let's see then. I am very happy that you came and so that's your reading if you'd like to leave you're more than welcome to um, but uh, I would like to proceed I'm going to tell you a little bit about yourself Taurus if you're interested in yourself <laughs> and then I'll tell you about my spiritual counseling and see if you would like to partake of that Well, yes, your symbol, Taurus, is the bull. Now remember, between Aries and Virgo, we have the signs where an entity, which is what we are, a spiritual entity, comes into the earth plane and learns to build personality, ego, within those signs. They're the newcomers. And 
so their perspective is often fresh and uh, very innovative consequently the Taurus have immense strength that's why the bull is your symbol it's a symbol of strength they have great perseverance you ha are <laughs> they can appear to be very calm but that belies the tremendous strength that they carry within them that sort of placid exterior covers up a tremendous emotional um, power uh, which is often why their temper if not managed can flare up and uh, so like the bull <laughs> you'd want to run <laughs> from that yes they you <laughs> talking to you <laughs> love pattern you love established pattern you love to establish a pattern to establish familiar behaviors so that you can from there in that security uh, grow and be responsive again to your environment so you need order you need things neatly arranged around you Torians want to possess and as I said in the last month's reading at the end of it we went into why it is that you're so fond of the beautiful because it's the beautiful that brings you into the spiritual you may fall into procrastination because of the love of the familiar you don't want to do the other you see so you delay but once you're committed to something you're driven you're loyal you're tenacious you make a wonderful friend you care you're genuine dependable and when your heart is touched you're generous giving That's a lovely, lovely thing. So, I'll leave it at that. And tell you a little bit about what I am up to. Up to no good. <laughs> 
I'm hopefully up to some good. And that good is my website, uh, which I call grandcentralhealing.com <laughs> because I've been trained in several healing modalities and I would like you to be privy to them all in one place. So that's why I'm creating this site. Hopefully it'll be done, but who knows, you know, we'll see. And in that site or on that site, I will have the tarot, my yoga. I'll be giving you um, yoga postures those postures and exercises that I feel are essential to health. I've been a master yoga instructor for, well, the mastership came later, maybe 20 years, but I've been teaching yoga since I was 20 years old, all my life practically. And also I have a show called The Alkaline Kitchen in which I teach you about the vegan alkaline diet. And that's a little misleading because we need as much acid <laughs> as we need alkaline, but we tend to have an acidic body. And so it allows us to return through the eating of plants, non-hybridized plants, um, which bring in the alkaline minerals that we use to heal. So I'm just telling you that. It will be there too. But what I really want you to know is that I'm going to offer you spiritual counseling, you and I together S speaking on the phone. That's my cue. <laughs> speaking on the phone about whatever spiritual problems, difficulties, obstacles you might feel you have in your life that you'd like a little help with or some issues that are of concern to you. And if my site is not ready yet, then I'll provide you with my <clears throat> Gmail account, which is grandcentralhealing at gmail.com. Please send me your concerns, your spiritual oh, requests for help, and I will determine whether I can help you with your problem. And if I can, then I'll email you back and we will set up a mutually um, convenient time in which we can have a conversation and I can try to help you. That's the intention I have. So thank you for coming to Virtual Tarot and Thank you, Taurus, for subscribing, and thank you for sharing. It helps. Thank you for going to the Council Cards, which is a less expensive means by which to get some further edification on the cards and some spiritual counsel. There's a link below that I provide for that, too. So if you need help understanding this reading and getting a little extra spiritual counsel, please go there. So thank you. I'll see you next month.